to another epi and welcome back to my closet. I've been here a lot in quarantine. I've kind of been obsessed with fashion a lot during quarantine. I don't know, I just had a lot of time to reflect my outfits. <laughs> but I posted on my Instagram story to see if you guys wanted me to do like a swimsuit haul, kind of. I haven't bought any new swimsuits. These are just my swimsuits that I've had in my closet for a long time. And you guys really wanted it, so I'm here to deliver to you. I just think it'd be a fun video to film because I know swimsuits are hard to find, especially good ones that are actually cute, you know? Before we get into this video, I just want to say a couple disclaimers because I feel like I'm going to have to. My style for swimsuits may not be the same for yours. You may think mine show my body way more than yours do. You may think my bottoms are too cheeky for your liking. That's cool, keep it to yourself because I'm not hating on you for wearing something that I don't think is cute, so please don't hate on me. I don't know, I don't think we should be like ashamed of our bodies, I think we should be hyping each other up. Like, it's 2020, you all know what boobs are, you all know what a butt is, whoa, big deal, we all have it! Actually, guys don't have boobs. With that being said, let's go. This is where I keep my swimmies. Swimsuit box one. Swimsuit box two, swimsuit box three. Oh, there's a lot of them too. I really like swimsuits, okay? I'm gonna try on every single swimsuit I have. I'm gonna say what I like about it, what I hate about it, how comfortable I feel in it, how expensive it is, where it's from, all that jazz. Also, I forgot to mention, if you're a creepy old man, pervert, or doing something weird with this video, click off right now. That's literally so annoying. <laughs> So annoying, click off. No, that's weird, leave. First one, this is from Triangle, my favorite, favorite swimsuit brand. I put this one on first because this is like probably my favorite swimsuit that I've had the longest. It's neon orange, which makes you look super tan, which I am so into. And the material is like super stretchy, so it's really like athletic, so you can be like go in the river with this and not worry about it like fly up. It is like normally cheeky, like this is what you would call like a cheeky bikini, okay? And it's ribbed, which is so cute. The only thing that's annoying about the top is like I have small boobs and so I like to wear swimsuits that kind of make them look bigger. Well, this one kind of doesn't because it's just like straight across. It doesn't really have like the triangle effect where it pushes them together. So that kind of sucks, but super comfy. And if you're wondering for price, triangle bikinis always are in the range from like $80 to $100 for both top and bottom. So it's like $50 and $50. Alright, next bikini. Okay, this one. This one's like a completely different swimsuit vibe than the one previously. This one, you definitely cannot wear anywhere where you're going to do any type of activity. Like, your boobs, out. <laughs> and also, these bottoms, they're really cute and everything. But, like, when you move, it's just like, slip. Your vagina, out. <laughs> you know what I mean? Especially since this cut is so, like, different. It just, like, doesn't fit on my stomach as well so it is like a little bit uncomfortable this material definitely feels just a lot more thin than triangle and kind of more like i don't know just not as like good quality although it is still cute i posted an instagram picture of this when i was in mexico and literally so many of you guys loved it it is from princess polly if you're wondering the butt very cheeky especially since it has this cut so your whole butt is pretty much out so I think this swimsuit top and bottom was around 50 maybe something like that a little cheaper than the other one but you can definitely feel the difference in cheapness the top though is just so cool because it's like a t-shirt like I've never seen this before this is definitely an outfit for hot tubs but yeah I really like this one it's just not very practical this swimsuit this one is super cute I really like it because it makes my boobies look good <laughs> The V thing is definitely like a new trend, it's super cute and everyone's wearing it, but the thing that sucks is like it's so uncomfortable, it's like an underwire bra. So you know, beauty's pain sometimes, we'll deal with it. The bottoms are super cool because they tie, which I can't figure out how to mute my iPad, it keeps like going off, so if there's so many annoying text messages, I'm sorry. It ties itself, which is super cool because then you can adjust it yourself, which is awesome. The butt, I would say, is normal cheeky. So, you know, not too full coverage, not too bad, but yeah, just a good in the middle. This is a Zaffle bikini. Most people wouldn't think that. A lot of people think that Zaffle is, like, super cheap and, like, everything, which it is. It's super cheap, but you would not be able to tell what this is. And it honestly feels, like, 
better quality than the Princess Polly one for some reason. I think you all know about Zappo bikinis, but they all range from like $10 to $20, 25 maybe. Super, super duper affordable. This swimsuit, I actually really like this one and I really hate it. <laughs> Two different reasons. The bottoms, obsessed with. I love when bottoms are like a V type and these are just really cute ones because they're super universal. Like I can wear these bottoms with like a red top, a blue top, a pink top, whatever top I want. Oh, also, the bottoms are very cheeky, so if you don't like cheeky, you won't like these. <laughs> but the top, I'm not a big fan of because it's a tube top, strapless, I hate those because again, I don't have boobs, so I like to wear swimsuits to make them look bigger, and these don't. I would wear it, I have wore strapless ones before, and I've worn this one, but it's not my favorite. You know what I mean? This swimsuit is also from Zaffle. I feel like this one's like an iconic one from Zaffle because like everyone has it. But again, ranging from like 10 to 25, pretty, pretty cheap. This swimsuit I recently got for my spring break trip and I am in love with it. <laughs> As you can tell, it's white with little blue butterflies, which is so adorable. But it's adjustable everywhere, like even right here and like in the back and everything with like the string look, which is super cool and like, I feel like it's trendy now. Yeah, I would say so. The whole triangle thing for the top makes my boobs look kind of good, so that's a plus. Um, and the bottoms I really like because you can like kind of bring them up and make it like more of like a V, which is super flattering. It is relatively cheeky, as you can see. This swimsuit is from PacSun, so it'll range around $50 to $60. Yeah, so not too bad, obviously pricey, but... This swimsuit is so old, I seriously don't think I've put it on for like a year and a half. The reason why I like this swimsuit is because velvet. It's like black velvet, so it's like really cool and different. The reason why I don't like this swimsuit is because it's pretty much full bottom. Or like, it's just like, it feels really big. This is a triangle swimsuit, and if you guys have ever had triangle before, you know it kind of has a material where it doesn't really move. So it almost feels like my butt doesn't move. So it makes it feel more full coverage, if that makes any sense. Yeah, but triangle ones are also waterproof, so that's like the plus of the Neosporatin part. I think it's called like Neosporatin. No, isn't that like an ointment? Yeah, I kind of dig the black velvet. <laughs> but yeah, again, it's from Triangle, so triangles range from like $80 to $100 for both top and bottom. Oh yeah, another thing I don't like about Triangle is they normally are supposed to be like this, which I really don't like and I try to like bring them up like this which is not what they're supposed to do so they have like a little like gap right here which is kind of weird but whatever. This swimsuit is so cute. Um, it's velvet again. See on that velvet train? <laughs> I really like it because the bottoms are like V shaped. They are very cheeky. I consider this very cheeky. Okay. And the top again is like one of those tops that are super like skinny right here so it makes you look almost flat. But also, I kind of like this cut because it's kind of like new and cute and like small boobs in the new trend. I keep trying to tell myself that small boobs are cool, small boobs are cool, but like, but yeah, I actually kind of like this one. This one's from Zaffle, so it was really cheap and it looks expensive, which is the goal. Well, it's not goal, but like, that's awesome. Okay, this swimsuit may be a little explicit, but <laughs> if I'm being honest, these are like my favorite types of swimsuits because it makes... These look good, you know what I mean? Um, you get a little under boob action, you get a little above action. Although, I will say, I'm like squeezing into the swimsuit. It's a little too small for me, which sucks because it's a Frankie's bikini. And if you guys know Frankie's bikini, they come out to be about $200. So expensive for no reason. It's literally just a name brand. But these swimsuits are awesome because they're like super like athletic. So you can do like water sports in them and like not be scared of like things slipping out. But also... <laughs> I just so tight like these bottoms you guys like like mm. um I would say these are very cheeky also this swimsuit is like eh I honestly have probably never worn it in my life other than like in my hot tub I think um when I ordered it I thought that these were like actual cutouts but it turns out to just be the print which is kind of stupid um the bottoms are kind of cool because it's like a string right here so it kind of gives you like a flattering look it does make my boobs look pretty good so that's cool um this these are very cheeky like they really only cover like the middle of your butt i'm not sure where this is from honestly i think it's from ama bikinis and ama bikinis are like 40 or 50 dollars and this feels super cheap very cheap <laughs> Ooh, a one piece um i've recently been super into one pieces i think they're so like 
bougie and like they're actually cool like, I genuinely think they're cool especially this one this one is like pure sparkles it's gold and it has really cute ruches down the side with like ties like oh I don't know really cute with jean shorts it can like literally be a top this is like medium cheeky it's not too bad kind of cheeky this is from triangle and I believe this was 80 90 dollars honestly though anything from triangle is like you know you're gonna like it and I just feel like it's really like a reliable place to get swimsuits this does make my boobs look like not very good but like you're gonna get that with one pieces <laughs> kind of just drags them down <laughs> this one is interesting <laughs> if you watched my last video like updating my closet like trying on creating outfits video I got a swimsuit I didn't try it on though so my first time trying it on um there's a lot of under boob happening and also I feel like the top is just weird because it goes up so high right here like oh my, I should make a slit right here <gasps> should I do that would it like ruin it I got a baby slit <laughs> okay I'm back actually can't really tell I did it myself I mean kind of like not really the bottoms super cool because it has two straps right here like I've never seen that before that's so cool and the bottoms are pretty cheeky <laughs> Can't remember if I mentioned it, but this is from Summerfield Swim. I think it was $80. But the quality actually is really good. Like, you could tell, like, I barely could cut it. Like, it was, like, really good. This, for some reason, has always been, like, one of my favorite swimsuits. I don't know why. Actually, no, I do know why. I think it's because it's cheetah, and I really like cheetah, and I think it looks good with my skin tone. Um, the top makes my little buds look kind of good. The only thing about the top that I hate is, like, these weird things. Like, why? I don't want them there but whatever the bottoms are like really cute because they're V and they are pretty cheeky so yeah this one's from Zaffle so it was a very good price this swimsuit is unique um I've had this one for like three years now um I used to be so obsessed with it but then I realized so many things are wrong with it they tried to do the thing like triangle where it's like the neo whatever it's like waterproof but this is like a cheaper version and it's like uncomfortable <laughs> Let's just start at the bottoms. They are like the, the 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 kind that goes straight across. And if I literally try to hike them up at all, it makes the middle go out like crazy, like gap. It's really gross. The bottoms are so full coverage that it's like weird. And it's like the material where it's like stiff so it like doesn't move so it feels even grosser. I used to think this top was so cute because it zips. Like have you ever seen that before? Like it's so cool. But I realized that like if I move my chest this thing will unzip by itself like it's very unreliable if you were doing anything like athletic <laughs> won't be my boys yeah and then like the size just little things like the size just like gap i don't know not very cute and not very flattering not my favorite anymore i used to like it a lot but now i don't and i realize i kind of want to sell it <laughs> okay i am in love with this swimsuit it is from triangle and it's so comfortable it's like a cloth material almost and the texture of it is just like so fun and the color makes you look tan all around it's win-win um the butt is like medium cheeky it's actually not that bad so um i like the cut of it right here that's really nice and yeah it's overall just like really comfortable and that's just so nice again i love this swimsuit <laughs> This is super cool because it's adjustable here in the back everywhere and it has that same like stringy triangle effect. Um, again, the bottoms like come up so I really like that. The back is like medium cheeky. It's not too bad but it's kind of cheeky. The print of this is just so cool though because I originally bought it thinking it was a cow but it's not really a cow. It's kind of like a water marble effect but I don't know it still reminds me of like my cow swimsuit. Surprisingly, this is from Zaffle so again it's like $10 to $25, whatever. This one is just like the teal one I showed you that was from Zaffle, except this one's from Triangle, which means this is like $40 or $50 more. <laughs> it is a little bit better quality and better style, but honestly, you don't want to spend that much on a swimsuit, buy the one from Zaffle. Like, they're pretty much the same. They're both velvet. They both feel good. They both have the same pretty much style, except this one's just like a little bit better, in my opinion. The, it is pretty skinny here, which kind of sucks for the small titty girls but um the back is pretty cheeky yeah i would say it's pretty cheeky and again it's from triangle so it's 80 to 100 dollars this swimsuit definitely gives me cheap vibes probably because it is <laughs> this one's from zaffle so again 10 25 dollars but kind of cheaper quality and just kind of like i don't know 
Maybe it's the fact that it's white and I feel like white things need to be good quality because then they look cheap. I don't know, does that make sense? So this one's not my favorite. I honestly don't think I've ever worn it before, but I think it's good if you ever need like a white top or like white bottoms. Got yourself covered. This swimsuit is seriously so cute. Right when I saw it on the website, I was like, I need that. It fades from like orange to pink, which, stop, it's so cute. It's like a dreamsicle. And then it fades from orange to pink up here and it kind of like matches. It's really comfortable. The only thing is like, these are really small. These two right here, so like, barely covers my nipple. Something that's really cute about it is the end of them have metal things, which most swimsuits like don't have that and it's like really expensive for swimsuits to have that. So I thought that was really cool. Again, this is triangle. So it ranges from 80 to 100. I actually just bought this one also. This is the same style as the Frankie's bikini one that like barely fit me that was blue and the Summerfield swim one that I cut. <laughs> this is also a Frankie's bikini. I just ordered this one. I know I turned it because it was so expensive. You know Frankie's is like 200. This one actually fits me. The blue one didn't really, but this is a size up from that, so we're good. This is relatively cheeky, so I am obsessed with this swimsuit, you guys. I got it for my spring break trip, and I just love it so much. It is neon green, which makes you look tan, and it's like a ribbed-ish material, kind of, so it's super cool. This is genuinely one of the comfiest swimsuits I've had because multiple reasons. It obviously just hugs you in the right places. It like covers my pouch, which is awesome because I hate my pouch. <laughs> it is pretty full coverage, but like whatever, it's one piece, like it be like that. But the things that suck about it is the tan lines with normal one pieces. Normally it's like not that bad of a tan line because it's like just like a normal swimsuit tan line. But with this, you get like your whole stomach and that's just like a really weird thing. But this is from PacSun and I believe it was 50? 49 something like that. I have had this swimsuit for so long for some reason and I've never worn it Something about big like big bottoms right here. It's just like a turnoff for me. They just don't look flattering It's pretty cheeky also. Um, it's from Zaffel, so it was really cheap. I don't know. I've never really grown a love for it If you're watching this right now comment a red pepper emoji. I honestly have never worn this top anywhere because I just feel like it's so naughty <laughs> the top is like cute ish, but like I don't know, it just gives me bad vibes, and I don't know. I just don't know. Like, the bottoms are cute. I like how it's, like, ruched, so it's, like, kind of fun. The back is really fun, too. Um, not fun to put on, though, especially by yourself. I like, barely could get it on. But, yeah, this is from Zaffel, so, again, it's, like, a cheaper swimsuit. But, yeah, I mean, it's cute, but it's, like, not my favorite. This swimsuit is, like, super old. It's from Triangle, and it has ribs on it. I don't like this style anymore, as you guys know. Like, I just don't think it's very really flattering on me. Especially the bottoms, how they're like, kind of like straight across. As you notice, I have like a lot of triangle bikinis, but that's because they're just so reliable. Like, I got this so long ago and I wore it like all the time. Like, I just like love my triangle bikinis. This is a really fun bikini. Um, I like these ones. This is like the same one as the green one that was like ribbed, except this one is not ribbed. They're both from Zaffel, but this one kind of gives me more of a cheaper vibe just because it doesn't have the ribs. And I feel like ribs gives it more of an expensive vibe. But yeah, this one's super nice. It's super like flexible and stretchy and I kind of likey likey. But yeah, again, if anything, it's just kind of uncomfortable because of the underwire. But, I mean, it's not bad. I feel like these are, like, pretty comfortable for having an underwire. This was one of my first triangle bikinis, and I just, like, still love it so much. I think it's so, like, cute. Just the details they put in it. Like, look at all of that. Like, this is all, like, crocheted and everything. Same with the bottoms. They're, like, crocheted. And just, like, the little details like that really make it. This swimsuit is... It's just okay. Like, I don't know how to feel about this. I always wear this in my hot tub because it's, like, comfy and it makes... Ma, look good. It has like a waffle texture, which is kind of cool, I guess. And it's really like flexible and everything. And this is a Zaffle swimsuit, so it was cheap. This swimsuit reminds me of like the 50s. I think that's why I like it. But it has a really cute little tie right here. It makes them look pretty good, so I like that. It's really flexible and like stretchy. The butt is so cute because it like ruches. That, yeah, ruches. So yeah, I like that about the butt. But this is from Zaffle, so it's cheap again and good quality. I also like this one. 
Last but not least, oh my god, this is the cutest swimsuit ever. I'm obsessed with it. It's like a cute little pastel yellow and it has like that crochet vibe again. It is so comfortable, which is awesome. And I just feel like I can move, do whatever I want in it. Pretty full coverage in the back, which is like whatever. This, this is from PacSun. So again, PacSun ranges from like 40 to 50. So it's not too bad. Oh my god, we made it, you guys. This video. <laughs> I genuinely thought I had like 20 swimsuits, but then I realized I had like 50. That took so long. I also made a TikTok and it was actually really cool. So go on my TikTok, it's Miha Girl, and it's just like a really cool like montage of all of my swimsuits together. Also, I realized when filming this video, I literally don't have a pink swimsuit. I have every single other color but pink. I have the one where it fades from pink to orange, but like, that's it. Isn't that so weird? Like, my room is pink and I just don't have a pink swimsuit. Like, what? But let me know if you like this video. Again, please don't leave any sexual or weird comments or rude comments or comments like that. I'm literally just doing this because you guys really wanted this video and I think it's a great way to show you my actual genuine opinion of good places to shop for swimsuits and bad places and what I like about swimsuits and what I don't like about swimsuits and how to look on people. Yeah, I just think it'd be really helpful for people. So, please don't take it the wrong way and... I'll see you guys in the next one.